Cheers, bro. Yeah, I don't suppose Mercedes will even notice I've gone. You will forget all about her when you're surrounded by Greek goddesses. Uh, but I'll have to slaughter all the Greek gods first, won't I? Mate, the place will be full of British tourists. I don't sleep with anyone, so you'll be fine. Uh, cheers, mate. Hey, we should have a night out before I go. She'll be a good one. Yeah? Do you work the door? Do I look like a bouncer? I own the place. Changing into Claire, did you? She wants red. And I made her an offer she couldn't refuse. So who's this, then? It's my brother. He's changed a bit, hasn't he? Half brother, Danny. You looking for a job, Danny? Nah, you're all right. Yeah, well, if you change your mind. I'd best be off. Louise is desperate to see me. And before you ask, she's the fittest bird around me. Ain't that right, Calvin? What, I'm up here, eh? <laughs> what do you want? I got the divorce papers this morning. I knew it. You couldn't just sign them and send them back, could you? Look, can I come in? No. I've got a proposition for you. A list of demands, you mean? I'm selling the loft. It's yours if you want it. Is that your idea of a divorce settlement? I get to buy back what you stole. I'd rather sell it to you than anyone else. You can't be kidding me. Please, Max, think about it. I'll sign these papers if you buy the lot. Come on, Claire, I know you're there. Pick up. I just want to make sure you're going to stick to what we agreed. No games. I expect to see you at the club later to sign. Don't make me come and find you, Claire. I should phone the police. Do what you want. Just leave me alone. I'm not buying the club. I'm not going to give you anything else. I just want a divorce. Well, then you're in luck. There, signed. No more, Mrs Cunningham. Pity it'll take a few more weeks. As far as I'm concerned, is it? I'm sorry, I have to turn out like this. <laughs> you haven't even decorated. Nothing's changed. Got rid of every trace you existed. Can't believe I ever lived here. You never lived here. You were a visitor. Your heart was never here. Your heart was with OB. Couldn't compete, could I? You never loved me. Things would have been different if you had. I cared about you, Max. More than I've ever cared about anyone. You tried to kill me. How is that caring? You didn't start out like that. So you didn't see me and think, huh, oh, there's somebody I can destroy. Why me? You were just there. You let it happen. It could have been anyone. I loved you. so good to me and I just kept pushing you. The more you let me, the weaker you got. You just stood there and took it and I hated you for it. What did you want from me? You need to fight back. Give you a good slap. I would have gone this far if you had. Would it have made you respect me more? Probably. Is that what you think men should be like? Bullies? Like your dad. Were you really abused? What sort of person lies about something like that? It was just an excuse. I've been punished for it since. Lying in hospital. Jumping every time a door's opened. Expecting to wake up with a pillow over my face. It made me realise what I put you through. That's why you want to sell the club. To get away from whoever it was trying to kill you. If I don't sell the club to Warren, he'll kill me. And you believe him? Somebody tried to push me off that balcony for all I know, it could have been him. 
Then give it to him. What a lame win. Everything's a battle with you, isn't it, Claire? After what you've been through recently, can't you see it's pointless? Look. Just take the money and start again. It's all I've got. I can't just give it to him. You stole that place from me. You should be grateful you get anything for it at all. What should I care what happens to it once I'm out of here? Can you come with me? I always knew you two would end up back together. Nothing quite says I love you like attempted murder. This is half of what it's worth. It's more than what you paid for it. Isn't that right, Max? You'll find something else. Something better. I know I did. Thanks. Pen. Cheers, Claire. Ding dong, the witch is dead. What? Never thought I'd get the chance to see you lose everything. Thanks for the ringside seat. But I thought... What did you think? That we were mates again? That I'd forgiven you for torturing me, for turning me against OB? For the way you treated Tom? I'll never forgive you. So there's nothing to keep you around here now, is there? No job. No mates. No one who cares about you. No one will even notice if you've gone. And them that do, will be glad to see the back of you. I'll drink to that. Claire! I hope I never see you again. <laughs>